Pythagorean. I remember when Joe Wilson shouting liar during the State of the Union was considered shocking. And here we are today with the fuck publicans shouting the most continuously and people not seeming to find it surprising. You know what? I, I don't think it's a problem. I, I People should like watch, if people haven't, the Prime Minister's Question Time in the UK. That's what I think are like parliamentary or like uh, any, those halls, that's what they should be like. Even in, in honest, and even in Canada, it's obviously not as like, I would say rowdy as England, but they have a similar thing where it's like there is way more uh, actual camaraderie in terms of people talking all at once and stuff like that. I also that. think that like, and maybe it was just because Biden was, seemed uniquely suited to to deal with that which i was frankly you know sort of shocked i mean people have come up to him and he's generally you know i mean i just remember during the campaign it's like you're uh you're a horrible person don't vote for me man yeah shut up fat <laughs> <laughs> i think he said fact there but we'll drop that for now um but but i like a president who's able to sort of like say like oh you want to act like a petulant child <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you can put that on display. I mean, the, the, the Wilson thing was so shocking that I think it hurt Obama in some way because it made Obama look, Obama wasn't prepared for it at all, nor should he have been. I mean, why would you be? Um, I think, you know, I, I I don't know how it had that much relevance. Maybe in the long term, it ends up hurting the Republican Party more. But in that moment, it, it, I think it sort of like it, it shook. I feel like the administration a little bit that there wasn't a more of a, a blowback to that. But I have to say, like last night, the the Republicans. Uh, uh, by, I mean, look what Biden did to him. He got them to both, you know, um, pledge to protect Social Security, and Medicare and pledge to offer a. Uh, a budget plan. I mean, they may not do it, but in the moment, they looked incredibly ineffectual. Their whole narrative is this guy can't even like he can't even stand that he's just he's you know weekend at Bernie. There's just a but but it wasn't a bunch of radical woke uh, you know Black Lives Matter activists who had him up there you know and had him respond in that way. It wasn't like there was no strings attached to his back. There's no earbud in his ear. It completely cut against their narrative. And I think that was a similar. They issue. failed. Yeah, you're right. And I, and I think maybe that was their, the, the, you know, what they thought what they were going to be able to do. We're going to throw him off his game. He's going to stutter. He's going to fall right. apart. Mm -hmm. And I think it was a similar issue with the debates in 2020. Trump was going in being like, Biden's not going to be able to even like respond to me. And Biden like is, is a sentient alive human being and everyone's like man you really set the bar super low for him to just totally jump over it um i think it was bob dole you gotta check on this who after he lost his his uh, campaign uh i think he became a spokesperson for viagra if i'm not mistaken yes. and yeah. if i'm biden commercial. if i'm biden the day i'm out of office I'm going to promote whatever it is that they either, uh, you know, they, they gave him in, in anticipation of that, like whatever it is, whatever vitamins taking, whatever, like whatever it is, whatever it is. I want some of that. Sam's tight pants. Finish the job is actually a good slogan going into a reelect. It implies he's been doing the job, uh, which at point he can with numerous things while also saying things aren't perfect and we aren't done. It's also inherently optimistic message in stark contrast. To, I, I, I agree. That finish the job thing, and it's also sort of like the, by saying it to everybody in Congress, he's saying like, "We can do this together." He knows how you gotta do it. It's a catch-all. It's like a good yep. catch-all in that way. <laughs> um, train boy, you spent all night watching Joe Biden, and now you talk like him. <laughs> Truly jealous of this caller. Wish I'd live five blocks from a train route. <laughs> Matt is right. Nationalize all the class ones. Kowalski from Nebraska. Did Sam have a micro stroke? Sleepy Joe is now woke. Sam, I really like your pro social security ad for your senatorial run against Chuck Schumer. Thank you. Gerald from New Orleans. What was Kristen Banana Mama, Ma, Banana Mama thinking last night? She was in this huge, weird yellow dress. Is left really best. Hump day. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Maddie Moron. Y'all got to talk about the Cy Hirsch piece about Nord Stream. You know what? I've got to read that. 
uh, but um, I, Cy Hirsch has not has not delivered a piece that I've you know had a tremendous amount of uh, of faith in for for quite some time. Um, but I will I will check that out. 